Hey, happy Thursday, everyone. I hope that you're having a fantastic start. <laughs> Actually, most of your week, <laughs> if you've had a fantastic week. I wanted to go live really quick today and talk just a little bit about who do you rely on to fix things, whether you do things yourself or when to know to ask for help. And this just came to me today, actually just a few minutes ago. Um, I've always kind of been the one that a lot of people come to to get things done and to get help with things. And I have had a harder time in my life um, asking for help and having other people, you know, help me do things. So much so that this is so funny. So early on in my relationship with my fiance, Donnie, I had moved into an apartment and I bought this piece of furniture that was one of those pieces of furniture that you put together. <laughs> and so he was, he, we, we were dating long distance, right? So I asked him, Hey, can you help me like put this piece of furniture together? Right. And it was a pretty complex piece. You know, it had like drawers and stuff like that. Right. It wasn't just like really easy to put together. And so we were kind of wrestling over control of this particular project. And it got to the point where he said, Lorna, put your penis away. <laughs> and so this is like a joke that we have because it was like I was taking on this masculine role of like having to control, you know, the directions and the layout and how each piece got put together and like not, you know, just like wanting to just tell him what to do to help me you know, like, Hey, you hold this so I can screw this in and whatever that he actually said, put your penis away. It was the funniest thing. So now we joke about that a lot. And, um, it's, it's, it's really, really funny because I am the one that, that tends to fix things. And over the weekend, um, we had this, this shower door pool that was just loose and it was just loose. It's been loose forever. And like, we had thought we tried to fix it, um, like a few months ago, but it, it didn't, you know, what we tried didn't work. So I just was like, so sick of this thing flopping around that he was gone to the gym and I looked at this and I was just like, I don't really understand what's, you know, like why this isn't coming apart. So I just, I, I like literally prayed about it. I prayed for God to help me fix this, this shower handle. And so instead of trying to tighten it, I just decided to take it apart. I was like, if we take it off and it's just broken and we can just, I can just go to the hardware store. We can go to the hardware store and just get something to replace it. And what I found when I took it apart was that I don't think it had initially been installed correctly by the builders people. And it was really just, once I took it apart, it was a really simple fix. And he came home and he was just like amazed that I had figured out how to fix this. And he's like, well, how did you figure out how to fix this? We had tried to fix this particular thing before. And I said, you know, I prayed about it. Like I asked God to like help me fix the shower handle and God like showed me like what, what I needed to do to fix it. And so I fixed it. And so he was like blown away by that. And so it was like, here I am learning to like, ask for help, even help from God on fixing the shower handle. And then it was so cute today, just a little while ago, which is why I want to talk, about, <laughs> I wanted to bring this up because, you know, he's like the man, he's supposed to be the one that fixes everything. And, he, and so he comes in with this, um, it's like a, it was like a, a, a paper tray, like four tray thing. And they had ordered it, him, he had ordered it for his employee from Staples and had been sitting in, in the office since last week and hadn't been put together. And he just comes in with it. He's like, here, can you help me with this? Because I know that you can figure out how to put this together in like two seconds. <laughs> and so I was like, looked, I looked at the directions like, yeah, I had to, you know, figured out how to put together within two seconds. And so, you know, I've learned through our relationship together and he's learned through the relationship, like what things are, my strengths and what to ask me for help with. And he's also, you know, and he, and, and, and not like have pride about it. Right. Not say, well, I'm the man I should be able to put this stuff together. And at the same time, I've also learned the same, right. The, me being the person who always just did everything herself and just tried to do it herself. 
like I've learned to ask for help as well. So I've learned to ask for help from my fiance, from Donnie, when I know that I need something done that I know that he can do really, really well. I just ask instead of trying to do everything myself. I ask for God's help when I don't know what to do and don't know what project to start on first or like the case of the shower handle, like not knowing like what particular, what specifically was wrong with it and like why it was flopping around and not on there tight, like asking God, like, okay, what do I do here in this situation? So I've learned to ask God for a lot of things too, that before I was just like, God's busy. Like he doesn't have time. I would have said like, God doesn't have time to like, tell me how to fix the shower handle, right? Like God's got big problems, big world problems. My shower handle is not one of them, but I've learned to just ask anyway. And I'm blessed with the answer. Like God is happy to give answers to even things like how to fix your shower door handle. <laughs> and that's just like a really cool thing for me. The other thing I've learned to ask for help a lot with is from my coach, my coach, right? Um, like I want to show, you know, instead of trying to show up, like I have it all together, like I hired her to help me with my blind spots and areas where I don't have it all together. And so I've learned to be open and ask her for her help and be open to her help on things that I don't even realize I need help on. Like we had a session on Tuesday and something came up that I thought was something that like wasn't an issue. And I was like, she's like, are you okay? I can see a change in your face. And I literally started crying over something that I wasn't like cognizant was a problem for me anymore, but it, there it was there. And because of that, because of that vulnerability, and I was able to just, just allow that to flow and be open with her and ask for her help, she was able to help me through it and, and get past a block that I've had that has been with me for years. So I, I wanted to go live on this topic and my whole point of this story and learning when to ask for help and who to ask for help and, and be open to help is because you know, some of our Western society, it's this whole like pull yourself up by the bootstraps and you just figure it out yourself and you just do, do, do. And that's like how we're, we're kind of like conditioned, right? That asking for help is a weakness. And I want to flip that on its head because it's just not true. As human beings, we are actually like, we are like pack animals. We are like, we, we thrive in tribes and in, in groups and we thrive on connection. And because we're, we are beings that thrive on connection and you're connected with other people, whether you realize it or not, like your energy, like your moods affect other people, whether you realize it or not, like, because that's the type of creation that we are, it is, we need each other. And so it's this Western society of telling people we don't need anyone and we can just figure it out ourselves is actually, um, it's actually against our biology, right? We actually need each other. Like the old saying, it takes a village to raise a child is because it really does. Like we really do need each other. And that's why you see moms will get really burned out, especially moms with, you know, a number of children or a number of small children, or maybe they've got teens all the way to small children. And if they don't have that time to regenerate and they don't have that help, they get completely burned out and shut down because we're actually biologically designed to have that help. We are biologically designed to have aunts and uncles and cousins and, and grandmas and grandpas and, and people nearby to help raise the children and to do that in a, in a, in a, you know, a community type of way. And it's, really the industrialization um, of the Western world and now really the rest of the world that has taken that away. So it's so important for us to realize and for everyone to realize that asking for help is not a weakness. If you need help for something for yourself, if you need help with your teenager, if you need help with your child, if you need help, like you're not supposed to be the one to figure it all out. Like it is okay to ask for help. It doesn't mean you're a bad parent. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean you're a bad anything. It means that you're human and you're actually like in line with your biology. So asking for help and knowing when to ask for help 
and not trying to fix everything, whether it be, you know, a mechanical object or something in your life that's going on, not trying to fix everything yourself is actually a really healthy thing to ask for help in fixing things. So do not try and rely on yourself. Do not try and do it all yourself. Reach out and get that help because you're actually designed to do that. That is how you thrive. That is how your children thrive. That is how your relationships thrive. That's how we thrive as human beings. So I just wanted to share that with you this morning. Um, if you are looking for help, if you kind of want to explore some of the help that's out there, I'm a life coach. I work primarily with moms and teens to help with the life issues that that stage of life um, brings. If you're cur curious about working with me, you can text Moon, which is my last name, to 90407, and that will get you actually a link texted to you with a, cal uh, a link to my calendar where you can book a consult, a free consultation right then and there. Or if maybe you're just like, uh, I just have more questions and stuff. I don't know if I want to get on the phone with you and have a consult yet. You can always just send me a DM. You can direct message me and ask me any questions that you want. And I'm always happy to answer them. So I wish you a wonderful rest of your Thursday. And I look forward to checking in with you again soon. Thank you.